Terry's taking some personal time and we support them, love them, respect them. And that's, that's all I'm going to say on it. Um, uh, I thought Georgia College was terrific. Uh, some Russell fans, they were lively. Uh, they played a really good game. I thought uh, the coach did a really good job. Um, we're, fortunate, we're fortunate to have to spread the lead late. Could have gone either way there. We got some stops down the stretch. I was proud of that, uh, that, that group of five that, that strung together some stops. We got defensive rebounds better. Uh, defended the three pretty well outside of uh, probably three or four possessions. Uh, we had some late communication. We fouled a three at, at, at one point, which is a, a no no you know, for all those teams. Um, for the most part, our communication I thought was pretty sharp. Uh, outside of a possession or two, our defensive transition was pretty good. Got a defensive rebound at, at a much higher level. Uh, offensively, uh, our system ratio was terrific this early on. We'll take that every game. It'd be hard to duplicate that every game, of course. Uh, got to shoot it better. We got to find ways to, to define roles at a higher level, you know, as a staff. And that starts with me. Uh, but it's early, and, and we're all learning about each other and, and developing as teams. Um, but the camaraderie was good. I thought our culture was pretty good. Got a bunch of contributions from different guys. And uh, the goal, um, the biggest one at least for tonight was, was growth. Got to get a little bit better from uh, our last outing in the close scrimmage. And, and we did that. So uh, positive uh, momentum. Let's still learn. Let's get better tomorrow. Yeah, Coach, you mentioned yesterday that you felt you all made a jump offensively over the past week or so. Just what did you see on that end tonight? It seemed like y'all played pretty well, but there was a couple stretches there where y'all went pretty cold. Yeah. Um, it really an overall understanding of what we're trying to do a little bit differently than what we were doing a month ago. And um, you know, I'm not saying anything that people aren't going to see when they, you know, when they scout us, but you know, we're, we're trying to throw that thing inside a little bit more than the teams that I've coached and, and what we were doing again a, a month ago. And uh, we're trying to play some inside out, at least in, you know, with certain lineups and certain possessions. And uh, we were playing really fast in practice and until about a week or so ago. And we're just trying to, Pick our spots a little bit more. I think there's there's going to be some possessions and some games where we um, try to execute uh, maybe a little bit more in the half court than other games, and, um, and we try to do that a little bit more in the second half and call call guys numbers. Um, you know, when you uh, when you don't shoot it great, of course, that paint is really clogged, and um, we didn't shoot it great. Uh, but that's again, that starts with us trying to find. Ways to get guys going. I thought Braylon was good early second half. Gave us a little confidence. MA all over the offensive glass. Uh, Kyle Lindsey had a big finish. Uh, we gotta we gotta find ways to get Cario going consistently. Of course, uh, had a big transition basket which we needed. We gotta pick our spots there and um, and again pick our spots in the half court as well. We, we saw Cario shoot a bit more than he's ever been done previously. Mm -hmm. That's something that you're kind of like encouraging, or is that kind of blow up the game? Kind of no, you know, he, he shot a lot last year. Heck, he, he's uh, he, he, threes, 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 yeah. He scored a lot of points, you know, <laughs> a lot of them on us. Um, he's, a, he's a heck of a player, and he's he's trying to expand his game, and he works every day. He's got a great attitude. And I love coaching him. Um, I, he, he, we, we can't have him settle so much, um, but but also it, it's it's on us again. It's, it's – uh, we, we've got to, that's our job, is to put these guys in the right positions, right? And, and the teammates as well. Uh, we can't settle that much. Um, then again, uh, we talked about the, that paint being pretty clogged, but credit Georgia College. They're heavy in those gaps, and they were going going under ball screens. They were uh, pushing out our, our elbow catches and our, our, our post touches. Uh, they played very uh, physically. Um, I thought their attention to detail was, was really good, and, and they forced some of those, of course. Um, and that's when, you know, if, if we've got a C shot and not an A shot, we certainly don't want any F shots, but some of those Cs we probably need to turn down and, and throw that thing inside. We, we had four or five post touches, you know, at, at point blank range where our mind's already made up, you know, to, to shoot a, a C or to bounce it, and now I've bounced myself out of a, a post feed. Um, uh, just an overall understanding. Again, we're, we're morphing on the fly here, and a lot of teams are this early, so we'll get better offensively. What does M.A. Moncrief bring to you guys? He seemed like he was all over the place. He was a rebound short of a double-double, I think. Just yeah. what, what, what is his role in this team, and what do you all expect out of him this year? 
well, it's going to go for them for certain nights and, and certain nights it, it's not. And that's what we're trying to do as a basketball program is, is we want to give ourselves a chance to be competitive night in night out, whether whether shots are falling or not. And he's uh, he's a developing offensive player, um, but he is a guy that you you're not coaching effort with this guy. I mean, it's what you saw today is every day. It's every day. He's he pursues balls with two hands and throws his body around, offensively, defensively. Uh, he's ultra competitive. Um, he's just a hard playing guy, and that's that's you love coaching guys like that. Izzy had a had a nice game. Um, what did you see from uh, I have a freshman, obviously the first game, Jared. What did you see from him? Yeah, he, I, you know I didn't get a chance to really study these stats a bunch. I, I know he he kind of threw one up that uh, found a way to roll in, and I think I was telling him that some of you guys yesterday, if I'm not mistaken, was that yesterday? All it was yeah. yesterday. He's just got a quirky way, and I mean that complimentary, of course. Of, I was dying to sign him. Um, to score, he's he throws up stuff. Oh my goodness, five for six. Yeah, pretty good, huh? Um, <laughs> he just he 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 throws up shots. He's kind of got some um, some some old school skill level to him. He's, he's just got stuff that's hard to teach, um, and he's got an ability with either hand. You know, he's a lefty, but he's so good with his right hand, and he's got like hooks and half hooks and, and junk shots, and again stuff that. Um, you don't really work on a lot. You just got a nose to score it. I thought he did a good job of moving his feet defensively too. He showed some mental toughness down the stretch for an 18 year old, helping us get some stops. And as I told the team, you know, if you guys don't ask me about Jackson, I gotta, I gotta mention Jackson. The first thing I look at when I see the box scores is plus minus. He's plus 18. You know, he just he does a lot of stuff that doesn't show up. Uh, obviously, when he was out there today, we were 18 points better than the opponents. So that's a, that's a good uh, sign for him. He did some really good things. Two more questions. I guess defensively, when you hold a team to to thirty five percent shooting or whatever, it seems pretty good. Just what did you see from that? Uh, you know, that side of the ball tonight. It, you know, you want it to be thirty. You want it to be twenty five. You know, you, you're greedy defensively as a coach, but they credit their their execution and they're they're a little bit. I, I used the word quirky already with with Kyron, but they they've got an ability to really stretch you at five spots. You know. We're playing a lot of three out, two in, and they're playing a lot of five out, pick and popping with bigs that shoot threes, and they put us in, in rotations. And we had a couple late communications, which led to, um, you know, another rotation or an open three. Uh, they run good stuff and they execute stuff, um, and they, you know, we certainly were challenged defensively. And as as we told our guys, I mean, it, it, we're, heck, we're we're zero and zero. I mean, it's so early this season. Who knows who will play. The most minutes next game, who will have the best plus minus, who will finish the game, heck, who, who will even start the game. Uh, there'll be nights where, um, you know, a guy that got, uh, let's take Jabri, for instance, he played 11 and a half minutes. I thought he did some really good things, though, you know, and, and uh, if he continues to come, he might be a guy in, in a month that comes in here or, or a week or two, and, 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 and he's, we're talking about him getting a double double potentially. Who knows? But we're going to give all these guys opportunity. We want to max out be the best team we can be. Um, we've got a lot of parity on this roster. Got a bunch of guys that can do uh, different things. Uh, they compete every day. We've got some uh, different pieces. You take our five, for instance. You take um, uh, Frank and uh, and Braylon. They're just so different. And um, you know, Frank Frank struggled a little bit. You know, with with um, uh, offensively today. Braylon's Braylon uh, again. Guys going early second half offensively. They'll continue to battle it out, make each other better every day. Anything else, guys? I guess just a housekeeping question. How's uh, Jalen Ingram doing? Where's where he kind of standing? Oh, uh, he's getting there. He's getting closer and closer to 100%. He's done a little bit of competing here in the past, maybe 10 days for the first time. Um, he's, um, you know, he's learning you know, what we're doing daily, and uh, he's getting in better shape. Uh, he's got a great attitude uh, with the support staff. You know, the medical staff trying to get him up to up to pace, and uh, and he's a voice too in practice. He's, uh, he's been good for a lot of our new guys, especially. You know, I think uh, the returners pretty much have a good feel for him. You know what he's going to say, but he's he's got some old man stuff to him. He's got some leadership skills to him that some of these new guys uh, listen to. He's doing a good job of that. Thanks, Kevin. Appreciate Thank you, guys. You.